in this video we will discuss about the models in codeigniter 4 in previous video we have discussed about controller and view in codeigniter 4 so in this video we will work on the models so go inside the models folder and create your new model so i'm going to call it as my model dot php now start the php tag and use the namespace as app backslash models semicolon and create your new class which is my model and it will extend the model which is from the codeigniter and that's it so our model is ready so we have to define the table here but before this we have to configure the database url host username password etc in our project so go to your env file if you don't have the env file and go to your project and by default you will get env file just rename this file to env and you will get the configuration here now here go inside the database section uncomment the database dot default dot host name which is the local host and database name so i'm going to create a new database to get the database access, you can install the PHP My Admin and MySQL on your Windows system, or you can install the exam server on your Windows system. So I'm going to start the exam control panel. So we don't need to run the Apache here because our coordinator is running on its own server. So I'm just starting MySQL. Now close the exam control panel. Now open the localhost slash php my admin and create your new database here. Sorry, to run the php my admin, we need the Apache. So open the exam control panel and start the Apache as well. Now open phmyadmin and create new database here. I will name my database as prolong and click on the create button. And I will create a new table here uh, which will be named as students. Uh, I'll use four columns so I'll use columns as ID which will be int and this will be the primary key and this will be auto increment other is name which will be where care then subjects this will be where care and age this will be int and just hit the save button so our database is ready let's insert some values so we can fetch those values inside our model and display it on our website so i'm manually inserting few values So I have inserted two entries. Now let's try to use this prolonged database and students table inside our project. So go to your project and in the database.default.database rename CI4 to your database name which is prolonged. Uncomment the username line 
use my current username is root which is the default user of exam uncomment the password line my current password is empty so i'm not passing any password and uncomment the driver line as, as well which is my sqlite okay so our project is configured with local database now inside our model class let's define the table name so here is a product table which is inside the model class which is table and pass your table name here which is students now this variable will define that this model will be used for this table which is students so all the operation will be performed on students using this model class so now go inside your controller in the index file create a new variable and create a constructor of your model which is my model sorry we have to use the new keyword as well so the instance of model is created now we can call model dot find all this will return all our data let's save it inside a new variable and print this variable now try to reload your website and you'll get this result and then you can see that you have all the result which are inside our database this is our first student this is our second student so this is the use of mvc pattern so we don't have to write anything inside our model we have to just define the table name in our model class we can create some custom functionalities here but we don't need them for now and we can simply create its instance in our controller then we can call the find all function or we have few other functions like if we want to find single value by their id if i pass the id as 2 and print its value sorry remove the semicolon and try to reload again then we will get a single value which is for the user id 2 and its record we can cross verify it here if we pass the user id which is not available like 3 then we will get nothing because we don't have any student with id 3 thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well so i can create more valuable content for you follow us on other social media accounts as well links are in description of this video